Well, going back early on, all of my family members, aunts, uh, my uncle, my mother, they were all involved in creative pursuits. My mother made clothing and from very early age I was fascinated with the sewing machine and with the fabric and I just couldn't wait to get my hands on that sewing machine. So I started out sewing and really working with fabric from a very early age, like about 12 or 13. And the area I'm from, Swannanoa, is a big, it was a big textile area. Lots of mills, lots of fabric mills. So fabric was cheap and, you know, it was a lot of fun to make my clothing, make other people's clothing, just... So really it was the creative people around me. It was my mother, my aunts, um, you know, my uncle who was a portrait artist. Uh, they kind of set me on that path of being creative. It just seemed natural, it seemed good, it seemed worthwhile. Uh, so, you know, it was kind of early on. I saw other people around me doing art, being involved in creative pursuits, making things, uh, knitting, crocheting, um, you know, sewing things. So. That's pretty much where my inspiration came from and my desire to create. Every, every form of art, for whether it be textiles or it's um, painting, it's a puzzle. It's always a puzzle in my head. And the final resolution of the puzzle is what engages me in the process. So if it's um, something out of fabric, I like a lot of functional sorts of objects. To I went from purses to more like toad bags because they're they're so functional they're easy to carry and they just evolved with me so as I began to examine what what works well in a purse you know what 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 really is needed to so you can organize your stuff and have it readily available so that process that thinking about what is needed here informs fabric, arts, and clothing. Do you want pockets on your jacket? Well, of course, pockets are useful. So you have to, you have to puzzle out where will you put the pocket? What kind of pocket will it be? Um, but if it's, if it's art that is a painting, there's kind of a different process because you want it to be visually pleasing. And so you're trying to please someone else, but also yourself. You're the first person that sees your art. And you have to decide, does this meet what I was trying to accomplish? Um, and if it pleases you, maybe it'll please others. Um, but at least I think there's that ethic behind it. Make something visually pleasing, make something visually satisfying make this value more, make this less. I think without art, well, I'm going to give you a little anecdotal example. I was at my dentist office, and this was out in Arizona, and I hate going to the dentist. I hate the, I hate everything about it, but you have to go. So I'm sitting in the chair, and on the wall in front of me is a piece of art, and it's a, a floral. It's um, kind of an abstract floral, and I think of it, and it was a, a wonderful distraction. While I sat there, I focused on that piece of art, 
and it really let my mind go somewhere besides being in the dentist chair. And I, I concentrated on that painting. It was wonderful. If it had been a blank wall, if I had just been staring at a painted wall, I think I would have been more anxious. Several years back, um, I wrote a cookbook. And the reason I wrote a cookbook, I really wanted a way to honor family, mother, father, friends, from my growing up period. Um, so the way I connected with that was, um, the title of the book is What Mama Knew and Daddy Grew. Because my mother cooked, my father grew vegetables of an amazing quantity and description, enough to feed the whole neighbor neighborhood, and we only had a small little piece of land. Um, but it, the family, that nourished me. I wanted to have some recognition of what they had done for me because they're gone. They're all gone. There's only the graveyard where you can find those people. I did not want them to be forgotten. I wanted them to be honored and remembered. Hi there. Our goal with these videos are to give you an insight into an artist's world. If you have any suggestions of what you would like to see, or if you are an artist and would like to be featured, please contact us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.